In my DNA, my career investigating your worst nightmares is a gripping memoir by Lindsay Wade, a former detective, detailing her experiences and career in law enforcement, which were largely focused on solving violent crimes such as homicides and sexual assaults. Wade draws from her personal journey and professional encounters to paint a vivid picture of the challenges and rewards of working on some of society's most troubling cases. The memoir opens with a reflection on Lindsay's early fascination with detective work, inspired partly by family influences and an innate desire to seek justice for victims. Wade describes how she pursued a career in law enforcement, driven by a profound sense of duty and a passion for using science to uncover the truth. She recounts the rigorous training, both physical and psychological, that she underwent to prepare herself for the daunting tasks ahead. Central to Wade's career, and the narrative is her work with DNA evidence, a tool that became increasingly essential in solving cold cases and convicting perpetrators. She provides an insider's look at the evolution of forensic science and how it has revolutionized crime solving, offering hope to countless families seeking closure for unresolved tragedies. Throughout the book, Wade shares numerous cases that she worked on, some of which had gone cold for years before she became involved. She delves into the meticulous process of gathering evidence, interviewing witnesses and suspects, and piecing together the puzzles left behind by perpetrators. These stories are not just about the pursuit of justice, but also highlight the compassion required to work with victims and their loved ones, who are often dealing with immense grief and trauma. One of the standout themes in Wade's memoir is her commitment to giving a voice to the voiceless. She speaks candidly about the emotional toll that such work can take on a detective, but also about the sense of duty that drives her to confront the darker aspects of humanity. Wade does not shy away from discussing the impact of her career on her personal life, including the sacrifices made and the support systems necessary to maintain her well-being. The narrative also delves into the psychological aspects of confronting evil daily. Wade explores not only the psyche of the criminals she hunts, but also the resilience and coping mechanisms of investigators like herself, who must remain sharp and empathetic despite the often horrific nature of their work. As her career progresses, Lindsay Wade faces new challenges and changes in the field of law enforcement, including the increasing use of technology and the challenges it presents, both in terms of privacy concerns and the sheer volume of data. She discusses high-profile cases and the media attention they garner, reflecting on the responsibility of law enforcement professionals to remain focused on the facts amidst public scrutiny and sensationalism. In the later stages of her career, Wade becomes an advocate for continued advancements in forensic science and a proponent of using DNA databases to both solve crimes and exonerate the innocent. She recounts successes and setbacks in this arena, as well as the legal and moral questions that arise when dealing with such powerful investigative tools. Wade concludes her memoir with thoughts on the future of law enforcement the necessity for continued innovation, and the importance of remaining committed to the search for truth and justice. She reflects on her legacy and the mark she hopes to have left on the field, emphasizing the need for compassionate and dedicated investigators to carry on the work of resolving society's worst nightmares. In My DNA is not only a story about the evolution of forensic science and crime-solving, but also a personal narrative that offers a rare glimpse into the life and mind of someone who has dedicated their life to serving justice. Wade's experiences serve as both a testament to human resilience and a reminder of the vital role that detectives play in ensuring a safer society. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.